And it is you, Bam Lee, here to give you another Barnacle Classic review. Today, we are going to review Tahu Mystica. Released in 2008, used to cost $12.99. Now, let's get started. Box, 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 box. So first, let's look at the box. The box shows Tahu flying out of the air above Karanui with his adaptive armor. The mask, as well as the armor, has changed forms to help him through the murky swamp. This box is made up of a hard plastic and is very very durable but we aren't here to look at the box come on we are here to see what is inside <laughs> This tar looks very appealing. He has a neon ghost blaster that he can shoot neon ammo from his left hand and he has a fully rotatable blade on his right hand. Taru also has four jet rockets from the chest to make him more aerodynamic. However, this change is rather pulverizing to the community. It has a significant departure from any other Taru set that we've ever had before, and has a, both a color scheme and a design different. But Taru Mystica is the first and only Taru set to have a color scheme of dark red and silver, unlike all the others which only had a color scheme of matte red. He's also the first Taru set to not include gears in his construction. However, this is rather common since gears have been terminated 2005 of the Hordika. Tahu has 13 points of articulation in the hands, feet, and head. Tahu's mask was the Hao Nuva mask, the mask of shielding. The Hao Nuva gave its user, those nearby, the power to shield themselves from the physical harm as long as the user was aware of all the attacks made at them. The Hao Nuva worn on the Mystica was radically different from his two other forms, being more angular and sharp, unlike the first two other forms, which were quite smooth and organic. This mask is in dark red with the rest of his color scheme and uses a red connected to connect the mask to the face. That is a bit for the functions of the set itself. Now I give you the final thoughts. FINAL THOUGHT So the set itself is pretty well designed and has more functions than a usual Nika set. However, as many of you may know, in sets from 2008 to 2010, the, the ball joints were very weak and brittle and broke easily from the sockets. Meaning, I cannot really recommend this as much as I would with some other sets made before that, just based on that principle alone. However, I would say if you are completionist or really like Tahu and want something to stand out from the rest of of the Taru set, this is a great set for you. He has many playability features such as movable jetpacks, spinnable blades, and the launcher. But there's but there are still many better sets out there. So that's about it guys. If you want to see another review, just leave a comment down below and make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and that's about it guys. This is you Bam Lee signing yo. Bye.